live from Minnesota with the JW Solar USA. So we're going to be turning the breaker on and we'll make sure the batteries are discharged in a way that we're going to start charging them fully on a cloudy day. It's on fault mode right now. So this is what the uh, controller is doing right now. Turn the breakers off. So Dave's going to initialize the first panels we already set up here. Okay, go ahead, Dave, and turn them on. We'll see what the power they're going to bring in to start to rejuvenate the batteries. Shows a one watt all the way climbing 40. Hold on. So bringing about 50 watts, 51 on a very cloudy day, guys. Um, we can, I'm going to be taking you guys outside soon and see. And they said I think it's going to get better later. So let's see how we're going to initialize the other one. Bring in two amps from the panels. All right, let's go to the other one. So this one's going to be on soon. This is the 15, 1530. It's the 1530. So this panel is going to be coming on. Okay. Yes. Uh, initialize that. So on. We're bringing about almost 100. Okay. So. Let's see, it's bringing 5, 6 amps, and this system is still down. We're going to be trying, we, we're hoping we're going to be having more power to, to start today, but I think the clouds, and all of a sudden, we have to end up, we have to end up um, with the clouds here, but 1530 is bringing, um, almost 150 watt but uh, these ones are in a different orientation these are on the west side we bring in about 70 watt and uh, those ones are facing with a midnight classic 250 is facing south true south so we're gonna go outside and again show you the power how the clouds look like out there by noon we're supposed to be having Sun we want to charge these batteries. We want to see the capacity since we start zero zero, and we can see how much we can charge this battery all the way to the brim with the sun, if it will let us. Because it seems like the charge controller cut up at uh, cut off at uh, seventy. Sorry, the inverter cut off at seventy three percent, which is off when we connect the batteries. They will not charge and uh properly and the system was saying uh we were charged but we're trying to flip the grid so we can charge them but it, it wasn't letting us to do it because the voltage is still showing that um we are really full the voltage well i know the batteries were hungry but just that's, that's what it is with the lithium batteries um it's always the voltage is the your your is the priority. So the new panels are bringing about seventy six, which um, these panels are set up in a way to uh, for the orient orientation bringing system uh, the late evening sun. So we are sitting uh, uh, twenty four point nine volt. I can able to cycle this and tell us how many volts are supposed to be coming in. And it's approximately uh, 102 volts. That's was okay. Now it's showing about 73. So let's see the open circuit if I can able to find it here. There's no Wish Bank Junior connected into this. It's manual loads. And it's supposed to be telling the kilowatt hours a day and amp hours a day. It would have been a beautiful day for testing. But. To my dismay, I don't think we're going to be able to see that. We just crossed to the 25 volts. The inverter is going to be kicking in soon because we have already enough power coming from 
uh, started putting some power to the batteries to initialize the inverter. So if you combine how much power we're bringing now, it's a 200 here on the classic, which is a 15, 1530. And we are bringing 50 here, 56. So approximately bring about 256 watt coming total. Let's go outside and check the weather. Like I mentioned, now you can see the charge controller just came up from the fault mode since it was 24.4 uh, <clears throat> volt that um, the system cut off. And now we're charging the batteries. We have the uh, power disconnected, shut it off. And we're charging the batteries here. And we're gonna be seeing pretty soon how much coming in from the battery monitor kit, the BMK. And we add in about a total of 7.6 amps to the system. While this uh, 1250 Classic is bringing out 5.8. So it gives out that, oh, okay, we, we're climbing to 11.4. So it might be there's an increment. All right, we're doing fine. So, all right, so the amps started growing. Guys, let's go check the weather outside because Grimeister really was hoping that we're gonna be having a better day of charging and it's not happening. But wait, um, it might happen because around 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, then the sun is gonna come out for a few hours. We're supposed to be cranking. Look at this monster. Okay, so all these wires are sitting there. We're gonna be cleaning them up. It's gonna be a box right over here. That's gonna be the main breaker box. That's gonna be feeding all the loads. So we drop it now. Since the power is uh, maybe started clogging again very heavily. So check it out. All right, guys, this is the weather. And I think the sun is about to be out there. You see the side over there is the east and this is the south okay the panels are facing right here that's the panels up there those are the 1530 and uh, this is the west here that goes the west I'm gonna show you there they are those are, the, those are the new panels. Those are um, four, 340 watts each. So you can see they're monsters. So we have them in a way that it's kind of curved in the middle because so that the snow can just sit there, it's gonna dive all the way down. And the same connector right here the little conduit is gonna go and uh, when the sun sets it's getting clear it's, the sun's gonna be setting this way and we're gonna be making collecting the power for the evening so you see all those heavy clouds look at that those are dark clouds they're supposed to be facing south now which has uh, the biggest array and you can see this one is diving as well. So, guys, this is south. You see how dark it is? Look at all those clouds. As soon as they get out, we can start making more power. So, this is the east. So, guys, stay tuned. Well, with the clouds I just showed you in the west, that's 34 watt. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! And these are the fifteen thirty panels, and this is the south sixty watt mm -hmm. from two hundred. We're making. You see the heavy clouds, and this is what clouds does to you. And combination of the power from the two charge controllers is bringing three point four amps charging this mighty uh, twenty kilowatt 20 kilowatt hour storage lithium storage is a monster it's heavy so tell me what you think like subscribe share here at the Grimeister's Dave house 
somewhere special. That's great. And what do you think about your system? Well, you know, it's never pretty here, but it's functional. No, it it's pretty. Yeah. Who said it's not pretty? There's a lot of money here. Yeah, it, there's a lot of money here, but like I said, it's it's put together. But you know, my my system, I personally, I say, you know, it, it it's it's a JW Solar. It's an awesome system. But you know, when it's in my house, it's not. It's it, it's a Frankenstein, but it works. It's a powerful beast. So this is what he's trying to say. He's saying the opposite, but. I don't get into this fight. I don't know what divorce. Or... Oh my, he's out. Dun dun dun. Join the solar first order. Oh oh. All right. See you in the next, <laughs> the other side of the road. <laughs> Resist. You want to say hi? Hey, look at that. Say hello. Well, this is um, divorce the horse, dog, and he's uh, with the boss. He's gonna be driving with Papa, going everywhere. Yeah, that's so, the stone cold killer, mouse killer. Yeah, so just watch it out, watch out, because you're gonna be seeing a lot of videos coming with racist gonna be in charge, and right now he's putting key. She drives into really, really hard work more than the baby kid. Wait till you see what Johnny Solar USA is putting in my bus. Oh, you're gonna love it, baby. All right, after we finish with uh, Green Master Dave, and they have the all the arcade system here with all the galaxy. Stuff here, Star Wars, uh, Star Trek, or whatever. And these guys are up into it. I'm not. And little Mario, you know, all that stuff. Old school, classic. Look at that. Yeah. So let's check the system one more time. Then we're going to sign out and start doing some work. Oh, I got to show you guys something. We've been thinking about this for so long. And now it's coming to reality. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go here. Yeah, check this out. What is back? Great time inverter limiters. You guys have watched my videos. You've seen who make a what over 20,000, 20 something thousand views in a couple years or something like that. So, this system is going to be incorporated with the other system over there. Since we have a 20 kilowatt hour lithium battery, iron battery with a Nissan Leaf, now we're going to get this system. No more solar here. It's going to be the battery system. So we're going to be ripping up all these stickers. You guys used to be 630, 900. So now it's going to be doing feeding direct to the system down there, which Greenmeister is really excited about because the reason why we're doing this, we want to offset Greenmeister Dave's um, electricity because he powered with the solar it's about 75% the solar is covering. And we have the furnace. And you guys know what I'm talking about. The I thing he that. hates the most with I all his it. being, with all his fiber, the thing I he just this. despises with everything. I hate this. And the boss the host don't even like it either. But he can't even say that. <laughs> because he thinks he's going to start a war. <laughs> I'm not going to get into it. There you go. So this box here, he already bought the box here. It's going to put before to change this, but it's still in the process. Everything here is in the process. So what we're going to do, we're going to have these guys feed back where they were and send the power back into these breakers here. This breaker box is full. Incorporate another one here. That's where, that's where these outlets are connected to the each line for the 240. And they're going to be feeding each inverter. It's going to be feeding one leg, one leg. So now we're going to be using the full potential of these inverters. It's a, a thousand, it's a kilowatt inverter, but we can only pull about nine, I think it's 990 approximate, approximately. So we can run a 48 volt system on this because these are 22 volt. And uh, 22, it takes out 22 to 65. So we're running a 24 volt system. It's gonna be like 32, 32.4 constant coming here. Even if the voltage drop, we can even drag the batteries all the way to 22 if we want to. But the system is set up over there to override. Only at 24.4, it shuts down. So, that saves the battery's life. 
so we're going to be wiring this one right now stay tuned for that and the grid side inverters grid side inverter limiters are back because dave don't want to deal with that one electricians are paying and it costs a lot of money to change everything so i don't think dave want to take that road right now but what he's going to do we're going to go back into this plug them over there it's going to supplement the power that he buys from the grid so it's pushing back approximately 18 1900 watt from this system to the house so when the furnace here kicks in the furnace is so small it takes just i think it's 120 volt that's the smallest one i've ever seen and he's gonna supplement when this guy kicks in right there that's like six thousand six kilowatts is taking now instant water heater so at least it can able to supplement 2,000 watts back to the system. It's going to buy 4,000 watts for a short time. And the washer and the dryer is going to be free. As soon as it gets into that system right there, the washer is already free because it's doing the laundry. You see the wire all the way to the system. And the dryer is going to be supplemented now with that coming from, coming from the battery bank. All right, guys, this is what it is. So I have to stop right here so that we can start doing the work before Dave's gonna get to work. So that's why we increase the battery bank and uh, he can able to, I came up with the idea so that we can, Dave can, if he doesn't wanna come up with the, uh, whatever, we can put this box right now, the box over there, clean up all this mess and get some outlets upstairs. They're gonna be running uh, parallel to each other to the uh, the grid outlet and everything's gonna be Ooh, more sunshine <laughs> so it's coming up slowly but hey guys the clouds are moving moving up a little bit from the west and we're putting back 140 and 50 there so it's almost 200 we're bringing filling up this beast all right let's see how we can do like and subscribe